Hey guys, it's Brian with Team Aquascape, and today's video is going to be much, much different than uh, the videos you've seen us do in the past. This one's more on how does the whole process start. And what I mean by that, I'm going to take you through step by step on how we actually do a consultation. So we had a customer call in, no different than any other customer, except for this customer doesn't live in the Chicagoland area. He lives way out in uh, San Diego, California. And so when he called in, he uh, was inspired by our YouTube videos. And uh, the YouTube videos are fantastic, which you guys know, because it inspires people in all different ways. It shows them the type of work we do, goes through a little bit of the process, gives people a better understanding of what the Aquascape lifestyle is all about. And he was triggered by that. I mean, he wants it and wants it bad. He actually loved the Urban Project, which was the inspiration. If you check out that urban project, link below, you can see what inspired him. So he says he wants to do that. We talk a little bit about budget, and then most importantly, we have him send in some pictures. So this is his current backyard, or what it used to look like. He's now wiped everything out. This remains there. He's turned it into more of a, a shed. Um, I love this. We'll see when we get out there what the reasoning and logic behind turning into a shed was. Probably storage. But I love this. What he didn't like about the water feature was it leaked. Unnatural with the big fake concrete boulders. The pond was very shallow. No filtration. Had to chlorinate it. And uh, was more or less a pondless waterfall with some shallow water in there. He wanted water to move more throughout the entire property. What would make a pond builder excited about this yard is this slope. When we get big slopes to work with, we can do some pretty incredible things. And the fact that the slope is as dramatic as it is and faces towards the house is a big, big plus. Love that it plateaus down here. And so it was pretty effortless to come up with a design. So once he sent the pictures, I can give him a call. We can talk now more relatable. I can actually visualize the space that he's talking about, get to see what he wants to do, then go over budget. And then I give him a rough little sketch, especially in San Diego. Now, not normally do we do drawings. In fact, a lot of times the drawing doesn't help at all, but I wanted to make sure we were on the same page before I flew all the way out to San Diego and charged our consultation fee to come out there. So this is the drawing I did. That's his current little shed. This is the walkout from his house. Blew out the patio a lot bigger here with the main viewing area looking at a giant waterfall coming down in here. Pond comes right up close to the foundation from the house because like always the view from inside the house is most important. Wanted them to be able to see that from inside their kitchen. Also note from this window here the bridge opens up that view right to that big waterfall over that way. If you came around the corner of the house you'll hear it but you don't see it and that's where the mystery comes in. So now you have to choose do you want to go up here and discover this waterfall or come over into this space. A bridge takes you over the pond, across some stepping stones, which lead to a sunken fire pit. This is the urban inspiration with that sunken patio with more of a koi swim up bar right in this area here. Another waterfalls with a bog filter coming in here. He loved the design. He's not sure if it'll all fit. And so that's why we're flying out there to go make sure it all works. But we're all in sync with the budget. We're all in sync with the preliminary design. We'll probably make some major adjustments when we get out there. And that's when I'll see you next. So I made it. We're here in California, just outside of San Diego in El Cajun, I believe is how you pronounce it. And look who I found behind me. None other than the man, the myth, the legend, Jack Harju with Atlantis uh, Water Gardens. What's up, man? How are you? I'm good. I'm excited because we're out here doing something that we truly love to do in, in an exciting way. So let's uh, let's talk about what we're going to do here. Yeah. So, you know, I left with just kind of going through the consultation process with everybody mm -hmm. and how we love to get pictures of the backyards. We talk about budgets. Yep. These are big budgets budget projects, right? Yeah, so the logistics involved, it is expensive to come do stuff like this because of all the moving parts and getting some top of the line artists to come do these jobs. You have to get pulled away from your business to come do these special projects. I think what's so interesting is why we do these things. So whether it's myself or, or the team of artists that we put together to do this stuff, what we all have in common is that we truly have a passion for still doing this. Like I get asked all the time, Aren't, isn't it boring yet? And I've been doing it for 25 years and I still get excited about seeing big boulders like this and dreaming of those in somebody's backyard and I can't help but think how awesome that's going to be to try to get rock like this and do something like that in this project we're doing for this gentleman here in uh, San Diego. When we get together it's amazing the synergy that we all have. It's like a well-oiled machine right like we show up on a project first we have a great time right we are, we're all friends first but we're friends with an enormous amount of talent. And, and what's great is we're all from different parts of the country. So whether we're gonna go do a project in Columbia or Disney or the extreme build at Aquascape over there, that big massive pond, we have fun doing it. It shows that we have fun because the project looks amazing and, um, and we're good, right? Like, I hate to say it, but you know, 
pretty good at this stuff and and so is the crew that comes out and does these so i guess our next step is uh to do the site visit and no we're treating this no different than we would do a consultation at home i mean the consultation price is a little different because right. we're all the way out in california we have hotel fees and food and all that kind of stuff but we've gotten the pictures we've talked about budget now we're doing a site visit the other things we have to really figure out today are logistics like yes. where are we getting our stone who are we teaming with there's a lot of things that can really put a wrench into a job like access mm. uh, what the digging conditions are like what's available as far as materials and what we're working with so we have to make sure that we do our homework while we're here in this short amount of time to line all these things up so we have a, a day to figure that out but um we've also got some local cac's yep that we can tap into out here cac's are certified aquascape contractors that we can tap into and hopefully uh they can help us logistically figure some of this stuff out what's great about that also is that once this project is done somebody's got to be able to take care of it and having somebody on the ground that lives mm. in the area that is familiar with what it is we do we bring them in while we're building the project so they have an intimate knowledge of what we've just built they can easily take care of it and it's a seamless transition you don't want to jump on a plane for another six hours to fix a pump <laughs> that'll, that'll be an expensive service call <laughs> awesome so i sure wouldn't have guessed it to be this easy but we walked up and both of us are like done these are awesome like these are beautiful granite boulders i love all the textures the angles you still have some round stuff some of these are going to be really nice for like going way down into the water then coming back and holding back that hillside at the same time the other thing i love about these these are the indigenous rocks to the area so it's just going to make it look that much more natural the fact that they have the variety of size from 40 eight inch boulders down to 12 inch boulders, it's gonna be perfect. Once we found our rocks, now we have to locate something that's gonna pick them up. Depending on where we are in the world, machines may or may not be easy to come by. Fortunately here in San Diego, there's lots of rental places and we've got lots of selections. We can pick the machine that's gonna best suit our needs for lifting capacity, as well as fitting into the backyard. Some of the things we're gonna be looking for is staging, access, pirate ships. We're going to see just how much room we have to access the work area. If it's a backyard, is there a gate? How much room is there in between obstructions? Like say there's gas lines, we've got air conditioning units, anything that might be an obstacle. We want to know what it's going to take to get to the work site. So this is why we do the site visit. It's so important to actually put a pair of eyes on the actual site. Pictures are fantastic and get us rolling in the right direction. But when we come out here, we're often inspired by all kinds of other things. When I saw the photo of the house, the windows, I kind of took some guess measurements. Well, my measurements were off by a few feet and a few feet in a yard like this means a lot It means extra living space off of a patio It might mean an extra waterfall someplace else and that's actually what happened We came back here and we started looking at things and we get inspired differently So our entire plan changed we did a preliminary drawing that got the ball rolling But now we're gonna change some patio stuff originally. I had a sunken patio over there. That's gonna go away We're gonna do a bigger patio right off of the house here. So when you come out, there's a big living space we're gonna to change a stream that I had over in the back when we really got to see this slope which again pictures don't show the severity of the slope we had to change a lot of the design around there so it's really really important for us to get out here and and get a pair of eyes on it now we can go back to the drawing board put down some sketches and get an idea of what the final thing is going to be sit down with the homeowner and hopefully get the blessings and then we can put a budget around the whole project we had a concrete pond uh, that was built several years ago 10 15 years ago and it was just really time to remodel and mm -hmm. so I started looking on YouTube to try and get some ideas and I came across uh, some aquascape contractor videos Jack's videos your videos and once I started looking more and more I decided that speaks to me that is the design that I want that's the style that I want and there really wasn't gonna be anybody else I felt that was gonna deliver it so this is something that's been a dream of yours since early childhood yeah my brother and I built ponds when we were kids similar to, uh -huh. to you guys right I think that's when that's pond people right that's what you do as a kid and everything just grows and as you you know you get to be an adult you can afford to do a little more sure sure so when we bought this house back in 2002 that was one of those things like well we're gonna have a water waterfall on a pond because I can do a waterfall on a pond. It's just unfortunate that, you know, we went with the, the pool route. Really, sure. it was a pool design, not a mm -hmm. pond design. Now we kind of revisited the idea, remodeled the pond, do some remodeling around the yard, and now it's like I, I see what can be with the aquascape yep. designs, with your design specifically. And I showed them to my wife and she's like, yeah, that's it, that's what we're doing. Well, so speaking of your wife, now this is a rare thing. Usually with my experience, one side wants it, the other side doesn't as much. In your case, she wants it just as much, if not even a little bit more. In fact, you said originally you were just thinking of doing a pondless waterfall. Right, just gonna do a pondless waterfall. And I was showing her some videos of some ideas with Jack's work or your work. And she said, no, I, I want a koi pond. But I want a pond, a body of water I can sit next to and, and see and feed the fish. And so you said you even looked at lakefront property 
at a place not too far from here. Right. That was uh, that was she was all in the estates up in Alpine. Very expensive house. Mm -hmm. um, and even if this this is a, a pretty costly pro uh, project, it's considerably less than that house. And so rather than us going to the water, we're bringing the water to us. Most important part of us coming to do the site visit is because we know after seeing a design, we're going to come out here and change it. Yeah. And during the build process, it, it might, might change it, it might change a little bit more. <laughs> but at least we know the the footprint of the pond now. We know where waterfalls are going to start. We know where ponds are going to end and what happens in between those areas is really completely up to us. So that was an awesome crazy day. Went just about as well as I can imagine or expected. We went and saw three different stone yards. We went and saw three different rental places. We figured out our stone. We figured out deliveries. We've got a couple more logistical things to do, but I can't wait to get started on this project. I'm also extremely excited to meet Mrs. and get her blessings on uh, our design and everything else. Look forward to wrapping this up and showing you the entire progress of this build. It's gonna be epic. If you like this kind of stuff, make sure you hit like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully you really enjoyed more of the sales process rather than just a construction build like we've always shown you in the past. If you wanna give us a call, make sure you hit the link down below and we'll uh, talk to you soon.